Hey everybody, Nostalgia Sky coming to you guys with the next game to go alongside Crash Bandicoot the Huge Adventure. Today we have Spyro Season Advice. If you guys have played the PS1 Spyro games, maybe the GameCube, PS2, and Xbox games, but have you played the Game Boy games? Let's dive in. I just finished my NW root beer. I didn't realize how much sugar is in one can, like holy cow. I really gotta cut back on sugar. It doesn't really have a cool intro though. Also, it makes you push start, not not A, not B. Let's, let's do a new game. This music is kinda lame. Hey Spyro, I think I see a sheep saucer heading straight for us. Let's get out of here before it abducts us. That's not a flying sheep saucer hunter, it's just a balloon. Look, there's a note here from Zoe. It says, Dear Spyro, I'm using every last drop of my magic to send you this message. Someone has a powerful spell, has cast a powerful spell over the fairy world, freezing fairies and ice crystals, and we can't get out. Now the Rhinox are back and collecting fairies one by one. I wish I knew what they were up to. Please come back before it's too late. This is terrible. We have to go help Zoe. And all the fairies. While you go see what's happening in the fairy world, I'll check the sorcerer's spell book for something we can eat. Used to find out who's behind all this. You know, Bianca, I haven't seen you carrying the spell book in a few days. What do you mean? I never let it out of my sight. It's right in my bag. Oh no, my spell book. Where is it? I must have left it at the library when I was picking up that travel book for our dragon trust vacation. I've got to go find it. Bianca, while you find your spell book, Hunter Sparks and I will go find those fairies. Okay, see you soon. And so yeah, we just dive into the game. You're yeah, an aerial Spyro game for the win. So R is to charge, A is to f or B is to flame, A is to jump, A again is to glide, and then A again at the end of the uh, glide is to hover. L literally does nothing. I don't even think it like literally. Oh no, it moves to the camera. You have to hold it down for I think. Ah, you just have to stop and then hold it down. You can't hold it down while running and then it does anything. So no. I believe there are a four are 400 gems per level. 7,100 fairies. We're at 0.1% done the game. It doesn't honestly tell us, but whatever. So let's flame this fairy. Hi there, Spyro. You'll never guess what I heard just before I got frozen in that crystal. The Rhinox are back. Those smelly Rhinox seem to be all over the fairy worlds. Uh, funny thing is, this game has literally nothing to do with the Sorceress, so don't get confused after, if you guys have watched my Spyro 3 LP, or Year of the Dragon LP as it's actually called. It has nothing to do with this game. This game you can play without really knowing anything. Jack-o-lantern, just in time for Halloween. I will be playing a Halloween game around that time frame. Um, probably two games at least. Uh, Lava Prairie. Not really fond of that level. It's a very... I don't know. I don't like the levels in this game as much as um, Season of Flame. But it's still a great game nonetheless. Still wanted to do it for you guys. And we got ourselves another fairy. Tori. Thank you, Spyro. I'm not sure what happened, but I was flying over to meet Gabriel. And suddenly, I was frozen in that chilly crystal. I felt like the text at the beginning of the game that was kind of like off the screen, but it wasn't. Like literally, this is recording every ounce of the game. But for some reason, it, uh, yeah, it's, it's weird that way. Yo, Spyro, I have a feeling that charging is going to come in handy on this rescue mission. You might want to practice it a bit. You press the R button, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I already told you guys that I'm just, just repeating the information that I have relayed to you. Oh, uh, there's stuff up here. Let's go up here. We'll try and find all the gems in one sitting. I don't want to take too long. I'm almost tempted to do one level per episode, because this game can be annoying that way. Some levels really take a long time, and but we'll see. This is Mermaid Coast. That's specifically one of the levels that I say takes a while to beat. It's a little bit cumbersome, but it's a good level. It's well designed for the most part. I don't think this game's big on checkpoints either, though compared to literally any other Spyro game in existence. Those jars are also your 1-ups, by the way. Uh, these you actually have to charge to destroy. They're vases, or vases, depending on how you want to say them. 
to say the word. Oh uh, yeah, so finding the gems in a game like this that you're not really as much head on, it's kind of annoying. Okay, we need to find fairies. This is to the boss, I believe. Well, actually, I don't even know if there are bosses. There might not actually be bosses in this game. I know Season of Flame has bosses. But I don't think this one has bosses. I think they're literally just... Go they take us to the next world. Not to be a spoily sport, but I'm pretty sure that's how it is. Also, I don't know if Money Bags is in this game. We'll have to see if we find him. Also, some money. I feel like there's at least going to be 300, maybe not 400, but at least 300 gems. Also, can I go this way? Actually... No, you can't even glide over there. I don't think it lets you glide. No, it literally does not let you glide over any of the gaps. Oh. Good thing we came back here. Could have missed out on that single gem. Yeah, and you can't die in the fairy home world, so don't, don't get reckless when you're outside of this world. Oh, we can't go here either. Market Mesa. I believe that's the one level in this world that I find very annoying to beat. Like, it's actually pretty difficult for a World 1 level. Oh yeah, and the gliding. I don't know, in every Spyro game, he teaches you how to glide after you first meet him. And also, there's gems down here that I want to get first. Like, I don't want to leave anything behind down here that I'll forget. Because finding stuff in the middle of the map is more difficult than finding stuff like on the upper ledges because if you go up there it's like you're guaranteed to figure out where everything is oh money bags is here spyro my my funny spyro oh i, I, I read i'm like my funny seeing what my funny seeing you no it's my funny seeing you here again it must be fate well, it seems haiku poets aren't as profitable as I had heard, so I came here and struck up a deal with the Rhinox. I'm getting paid a fortune by a large Rhinox to keep this insect-infested level restricted from dragons. Come to think of it, he never did mention anything about dragonflies. I suppose letting a dragon fly through wouldn't cause any harm, now would it? Especially if you were to pay me, say, a small fee. Okay, so yeah, he's in it, but I believe he's here for the Sparks levels only. Ooh, gems. Gems! I already freed you, so that means we're close to an area that we've already been to. Which is good. Means there shouldn't be too much to explore down here. Yeah, see, because we're already seven minutes in, and we even skipped some of the dialogue. That's stupid. So, and we're not even done this level. And this is just the home level. Most Spyro games I can rush through. This is, like, the only one that I can't. Attack of the Rhinox that I played on my other channel is also a pretty interesting game. It's very difficult, but it, it it was it was different enough to be like the same as Spyro, but different, you know. Okay, the charging around here is really really annoying. Like just the angle that you move in is so bad. Like, I don't know why Spyro just like look at that when he jumps, he does like this weird side hop everywhere and it's so all over the place. Yeah, there's at least 300 gems. And I'm pretty sure the rest of what we seek is over yonder where Hunter was telling us how to glide. No, good thing that wasn't active. I would have ran into it. I feel like having charge on B would have been good too, but they're like, nah. Also, fairy. Summer. Spyro, if you need to look far into the distance, hold down the L button and move the control pad in the direction you want to see. So yeah, that's that's exactly what L does that I was telling you guys earlier. All this money for me and nobody else except probably... Oh man. Oh, are we still here? Grace, it was getting awfully frosty in that crystal. Thanks for saving me. I hope that didn't teleport me too far away from where I was. Like, I feel like Spyro moves a, a tad bit on his own, which is very annoying. Okay, we only need uh, 35 more gems. So I'm sure we're almost there. Nope. The fact that the fairies also talk to you after you've already talked to them is very annoying. Uh oh. Hmm. Oh, okay, no, okay, no, there's still more. I 
Okay, this is gonna be very, very precise with how we have to do. No, no. There's also missing gems. That's that's what I was saying. Oh no, to not the fact that I that I missed the jump. Oh no, the fact that I have to get more gems in this level. Do do. Well, that was weird. Autumn. Don't worry about falling in the fairy world, Spiral. If you fall in a fairy world, our magic will rescue you. Yeah, I found that out already. Thank you very much. Good job, Spiral. We've got a lot of fairies to rescue. Wait, we didn't get all the fairies here either? Pretty sure we can just push select. Yeah, three gems. No, we did get all the fairies. Market Mesa, Lava Prairie, Mermaid Coast, Stone Age Speedway, and Ant Farm. Ant Farm being only one thing. Yeah. Now three gems. Uh-oh. 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 Oh no, not this again. This happens to me every darn time I play these games. I'm always left with like one gem. It's probably out towards the middle of here somewhere because, you know, it's just the way this game is. Yeah, I get that I fell in. So what? So what? You gonna sue me? Let's run into Lava Prairie. I don't want to go to Lava Prairie yet. I still have to find the one missing gem. and That's all we're going to do this episode because I promised only one world per episode. And that includes the, the home worlds. So this might be a lengthy LP unless I decide to change it. But I don't have a lot of time to record right now. So that's just why I'm doing it this way. Uh -huh. Like, the fact that you charge into everything in this game, as well as the jump is weird, makes for a really weird game. Okay, where could that gem be? Where could that gem be? There it is! So anyways, guys, in the next episode, let's go... Actually, let's go to the level that we're going to go to next. Which will be... Lava Prairie! So let's go. Whoop, shoop, da, loop, 300 gems. Ah, I like how there's like a gold one in there. Oh, two, three, four, five, six. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe for Lava Prairie. Bye-bye!